Now, tragedy on Wednesday occurred at the Vinikilang Jamaica Bridge in Yola as a truck crashed, killing an unspecified number and leaving others with various degrees of injuries. The incident angered commuters who blamed it on the recklessness of the truck drivers, which led to the torching of the truck. Salis Lawan reports. Eyewitnesses narrated how the incident could have been avoided if the truck drivers were not reckless. We missed many people as the result of overspeeding by the heavy trucks drivers. In view of this, police, as a matter of public concern, were calling on government to provide a lot of security agencies who can regulate the recklessness of the drivers to avoid missing of lives. Charity Beatrice is among the survivors. She is the only person whose life was spared in the tricycle she boarded. Among the three of us who boarded the Keke, I am the only one who survived in the accident. Angered by the severity of the incident, angry youth in the area set the truck on fire. The swift intervention of firemen reduced the damage as several shots will have been reduced to ashes. <laughs> While confirming the development, the police public relations officer for Adamawa State, Yahya Nguruji, said the driver is in their custody, even as he cautioned people to desist from jungle justice. We like to use this opportunity to call on members of the public, particularly the root users, to obey traffic rules. It is on record that whosoever that violates traffic rules always end up being punished according to the law. I would like to tell you that the driver who is involved is already in our custody. Investigation is ongoing and enough is going to be done to see that uh, such things never occur in this area as a whole. Incident truck incidents along the road are assuming an alarming rate with dates recorded with every incident. From Yola, Silas Lawan, Trust TV News.